All right, Shalom, giving all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Racha Hakodash, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Racha Hakodash. Yahweh, being the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. Jehovah, Yahweh, and Hashem. Yahweh, meaning He is or He exists, the existing one. Okay? Or He breathes when you dive further into the name of Yahweh. Okay? And Yahweh Shai, being the true name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ or Yeshua. Yahweh Shai, meaning He delivers or He is salvation. For he is truly the deliverance and the salvation for the nation of Israel. And Racha HaKodash is Hebrew for the Holy Spirit. For as it is commanded of me, I come unto you in the name of the Father, and in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Giving double honors unto the apostles and the elders of great millstone who continue to rule well. And much peace, blessings, and salutations are due to the hopeful elect members of the nation of Israel. Those of you who are of Negroid and Native Indian descent, of North, Central, and South America, the Caribbean Islands, Alaska, and Canada, also spread throughout the four corners of the earth, due to the scattering for our iniquity by the Heavenly Father himself. Unto the elect of you, I say Shalom, and Shalom is a Hebrew word for peace, so may peace be upon you and your loved ones here in these last days. Uh, Lord willing, the title of this video will be Signs of the Times. Okay. Um, as you have been made aware uh, just yesterday, um, this past Saturday, if you, if you were in California, you witnessed a solar eclipse around 9.20 a.m. yesterday morning. Okay. A solar eclipse. All right, and prior to that, the last solar eclipse we had uh, was around, I want to say, 2017. Okay, 2017 or 2018, you know, give or take. All right, but nonetheless, we witnessed here in Babylon the Great uh, a solar eclipse when the sun is completely uh, darkened okay where well, you just see the outline or the or a ring of fire as is uh, known as a ring of fire okay this is a sign that we are in the end times that we are in the end days okay in addition to that, we have rumors of wars going on, okay, with the uh, small hats, okay, and uh, the military organization uh, known as Hamas, all right? These are all signs of the times. These are um, things our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Mashayak, uh, forewarned us about to look for. All right but the end is not yet okay because there are a few prophecies left to be fulfilled all right prior to the utter destruction of Babylon the Great okay the utter uh, 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 domination of these heathen power structures here in the earth today okay Prior to the ultimate second advent of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah Mashiach, when he uh, parts the, the skies, okay, and enter into this atmosphere uh, to do straight conquering, okay. Now, you shouldn't be troubled uh, with what's going on in the world right now because these things must take place in order for us to be. Uh, delivered okay us being 
uh, the remnant of the nation of Israel, the elect of the nation of Israel, Lord willing, were a part of that number. Okay. In order for the hopeful elect to be delivered, these things must take place. Okay. And it begins with you so-called Negroes, you so-called Hispanics, you so-called uh, Native Indians. Okay. Here in Babylon the Great and spread throughout the four corners of the earth. There is a remnant amongst you who will be delivered in these last days because you make up the house of Israel. All right. You make up the uh, chosen seed of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. All right. You make up the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right. But once again, what you witnessed yesterday, that eclipse, is uh, nothing more than a sign given to us by the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son to let us know that we are yet uh, um, in the end times. We are at the end of this age. And who is the end of this age? Esau, Edom. Let me uh, pull that real brief just for the sake of edification. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 6, and verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world. The word, the word world meaning age, okay, dispensation of time. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed it, all right? Now Esau is who? The forefather of the Edomites. And who are the Edomites? You so-called white people. Okay, you so-called white people. All right, you are the Edomites. Okay, and you being in complete control of this planet Earth, you having a strong hold uh, or a strong footing, rather, in the planet Earth today, is a telltale sign that you are the Edomites. And the way you're running this uh, 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 this world, okay under your rule shows that we are at the end because we are in a uh, sodomite like society okay everything is wicked alright and there's nothing but straight blasphemies coming from your people to the heavenly father and to his people okay so because of that we know that the iniquity of you people is reaching to the heavens of the heaven uh, uh, to the uh, of the heavenly father's throne okay and the heavenly father will soon act okay and Jacob as it is written is the beginning of it that followeth the world to come the kingdom to come okay the the reign of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah Mashiach okay the Israelites are going to rule in tandem with him those who are who are destined to be uh, joint heirs with our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah Mashiach and those who are destined to be joint heirs are descendants of the nation of Israel okay beginning with you so-called Negroes you so-called Hispanics of Native Indian descent and you so-called Native American Indians okay of North Central and South America the Caribbean islands, Alaska and Canada, also spread throughout the four corners of the earth. All right? You are the world to come. Okay? So these signs we're seeing, the rumors of wars, the uh, the blood moons, the wolf moons, the lunar eclipses, the solar eclipses, these are signs that we are at the end of this age. Okay? And this is what our Lord told us. And it can be found in St. Luke chapter 21. And I'll read verses 8 through 11. It says, And he said, Take heed that, take heed that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, 
saying that I am anointed. And the time draweth near, go ye not therefore after them. Okay, he's warning us not to go after false messiahs. All right. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, such as uh, the war in Ukraine, this war between the small hats and uh, that military organization, H-A-M-A-S, all right? Be not terrified, because a lot of you people out there are, are real concerned right now because of what's going on, all right, of these uh, so-called threats that was being made here in Babylon the Great towards uh these small hats all right you think there will be uh attacks from uh islamic people here in in uh in babylon the great but those of us who are trusting in yahweh bashim yahweh shai trusting in his prophecies and in his promises our lord is saying here be not terrified Okay, don't be don't be don't be concerned with these things all right don't be uh, fearful of these things right because he says this for these things must first come to pass okay so there's supposed to be uh, uh, rumors of wars there's supposed to be commotions in the earth all right this there's supposed to be uh, distress amongst these nations okay these nations are supposed to be at each other's throats all right and it's going to get worse it's going to intensify but the end is not by and by meaning the end the complete end is not come okay meaning the close of this age is not just yet but we're close okay we're close to the end of this age closer than we even think verse 10 then see he unto them, nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilences, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. Okay, and again, just yesterday, we saw a great sign in the heavens. All right with that uh, solar eclipse all right so these things must uh, come to pass and there will be many more signs in the heavens all right there will be many more uh, 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 rumors of war until that great war of Armageddon breaks out okay until our Lord and Savior appears in the heavens all right so don't concern yourself with fear with what's going on uh, in, a, in the earth right now. These things are necessary, okay, in order for us to be delivered here in these last days, man. All right? So this was just a quick hit. I wanted to bring that out. Lord willing, it was informative and edifying to the hearer. Giving all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Bahashim, Rachah once again, double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect, wherever you may be. Shalom.